Welcome to Humankind. My name is Jumbo Pixel, and I'm bringing you a series of tutorials in collaboration with Amplitude Studios to teach you how to play Humankind. In this video, we'll focus on the beginning, the Neolithic era, starting a game, claiming territory, early combat, and progression. A game of Humankind begins with the dawn in the Neolithic era. Hunting and gathering is our focus here. Don't forget, down the bottom left of your screen, you could toggle the settings for controls or enable the help player, a very useful overview that you can toggle on or off at any time to familiarize yourself with Humankind's UI. Down the bottom left, you can also toggle on or off other useful UI options like the hexagonal grid or tile yields. Now, let's focus back in on the game itself. It's time to make some progress and it starts with early exploration. Take note of the tiles around you and where you're moving. Forests and rivers, for example, will cost you more movement points to enter than standard flat land. The goal here is to pick up curiosities, to find, hunt and gather. In this case, I found a freshwater harvest, earning me some food and with enough food, I'll get more reinforcements, more units to control. As we explore, we're also looking for scientific curiosities and other discoveries, like for example, natural wonders, powerful points of interest on the map. And of course, the many events that play throughout a humankind journey. We're also scouting out for potential allies and enemies, as well as resources on the map, topics that we'll return to in later tutorials. Back to the task at hand though, progression in the Neolithic era works a bit differently than the others. It's a smaller era, tasking us to get either our growth star by gathering units, a knowledge star by acquiring science curiosities, or finally the hunter star by hunting animal units. Achieving just one of these stars will allow us to progress through to the next era. Before that though, you're probably going to need a combat basics introduction. Combat can be resolved in three ways in humankind, the first being a retreat, not really a combat tool, uh, the second being an instant resolution, the game will play it out for you and you can get a preview of the outcome on the right hand side of your screen, and finally a manual battle. Here you will control your units, first deploying them into an allocated battlefield on the map. Then you and your opponent will fight across many rounds within one overall game turn in humankind, to ultimately find a victor, defending a flag if you're a defender, or going on the aggressive. Take note of the terrain conditions here again as they will dramatically impact the outcome of your fight, including, by the way, high ground, something always favourable. With our opponents patched and dispatched, it's time now to claim some territory of our own. We can do that using our units, in this case the hunting party's claim territory function, to find a nice spot and settle down. This will eventually allow us to build an outpost and then turn that outpost into a city. You want to take note of both the food and industry yields, in particular the first and second ones, as they'll determine how quickly you grow and how quickly you build. More on that in a future video. For now though, we've found a place to settle down, a future side of a city, and claim some land for ourselves. Job done, alongside claiming of course the era star that we need, it's time to progress through into humankind's next era. We'll do this many times throughout the game if we wish, and each time we move through, we can choose a new culture to play, each one having its own unique look, sound, and feel, but also providing some benefits like a trait that we'll keep for the rest of the game, even after we change eras and cultures. We'll also receive two emblematic units and or districts. The latter can only be built while you're playing the active culture you receive it in. Everything you've already done will stay the same as you move through to the next era to progress your civilization further, potentially with a new culture. And these cultures, by the way, are divided into different affinities. Take the agrarian cultures, for example, focused around food. Their action, greener pastures, lets me attract population from neighboring cities into my own. I'll also earn more fame around, in this case, my agrarian stars because I'm an agrarian culture. Of course, we'll need to earn these stars and the fame that comes with them if we want to progress through to the next era, and they each focus around different activities and yields in the game. You could also explore the map, engage in events or deeds to earn more fame, and you can check it at any time over on the left-hand side of the screen to make sure that you're staying competitive with your foes. Join me next time and we'll continue this journey from outpost to empire, managing cities, civics, science, and more.